All right, out sight, sight into my Marlin for the uh, it's two days before deer season, so I wanted to uh, make sure I got everything sighted in. Um, you'll see the target results down there. I definitely got her sighted in now. I was having all sorts of problems with this thing with this scope for a little while, but uh, that's why I'm talking to you right now with this scope. Um, this is a uh, Cabela's brand three to nine power scope. Uh, the optical clarity on it is really nice. It's it's a lever action, three to nine by forty is is what it's called. And for the forty four magnum, they make these scopes for a couple different guns, um, thirty thirty, maybe forty five Colt, um, lever action cartridges, thirty yeah thirty thirty forty five Colt I think, forty four magnum. They make a couple different calibers, but it's got like that ballistic reticle in it, so it's got, you know, your crosshairs, and then it's got a line below it, and then a line below that. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to sight the gun in for 50 yards on your main crosshairs, and then the line below it is supposed to be for 100 yards, and then the line before that is supposed to be um, 125 yards. But it's calibrated for the... Um, Horny Day Lever Evolution bullets at 225 grain. Um, that ballistic tip, you know, the pointy bullets that you're not that you can now use in in the tubes, tube bed magazines. So I got her sighted in. It's the the three to nine is really goofy on this because it doesn't track straight. So if you sight it in at say three power and then you go to nine power and try to take another shot, your shots are off. So it's not, a, it has to do with the quality of the scope. Um, the, the clarity is really, really good on this. It's, it's really good. But um, the tracking on the, on, the, on the power settings is not all that great. I'll leave a, uh, I think I'll leave a link in the uh, description below um, on explaining all that. It's, I, I, I'll leave a link to the guy that explains it, so. Um, but now that we've got it in sighted for 100 yards, we're going to try and use the, uh, the ballistic turrets here. Not the ballistic turrets, the balli balli ballistic reticle and see um, what the point of impact shift is on this thing at, uh, at 100 yards and see what we can come up with here. So let me set the camera back up and uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, so the first one, let me see if I can get a finger in here. First one, not gonna get a finger, but um, it would be, you see the two diamonds in the center on the right. We're gonna aim for the lower diamond, and we're gonna use the first hash mark on the scope and see where that gets us. Um, I've got it sighted in for 100, so I'm not sure where this is gonna go. So let me take a shot and see what happens. And that looks like it went approximately two inches above the center, which that's actually a good thing because that's about two to three inches. It's hard to tell from here. Two to three inches, it's hard to tell from here. But that's pretty good because at 125 yards now, that should put me spot on bullseye for the, uh, the ballistics of this round. So let me do one more, same same diamond, but we're gonna do the next hash mark below that and see what happens. All right, put this thing on safety and we will go down there and have a look. All right, so this with the this right here is a standard 
right here. This is at 100 yards, sighted in, uh, inch and like 3 8 inch group using the regular crosshairs, you know, no ballistic drop. Here, I was aiming at the center and I used the first hash mark down and these are an inch, so one, in one inch, approximately two inches higher at 100 yards, which that is good because that should put me, and I will show you when I get back up there, that will put me at 100, that should put me at 125 yards um, dead nut center. Now I was aiming here again, and I used the next one below that, the next hash mark below that, and I hit up here. So again, aiming here, and second drop turret, or second uh, hash mark, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half ish, ish inches higher than here. So I'm not sure, I've got some data I'll go over with you in a minute, but I think that will put me to 175 yards if I wanted. So if I'm 175 yards away, we'll figure out the drop and everything. I got to, I'll get back up there and uh, we'll show you what's going on here. Not too bad though, I like that. They're all straight center up and down. I like that.